Welcome to Pathways latest venture, the Mary Townley Loop, which as its name suggests is circular. So it's a bit like a merry-go-round, you can hop on and hop off at whatever point suits you best. We've decided to start at the Ram Inn in the village of Home Chapel, which gives you the great incentive that at the end of your journey, you guarantee some great British food. As the sign suggests, Of course, the beauty of a circular walk is that you can do it in either direction. We've chosen to do it anti-clockwise, that is, with the shins, as some people may have it. The journey is about 48 miles in length, dipping in and out of Lancashire and Yorkshire through the South Pennines. It weaves its way through wild moorland into green wooded valleys and cloughs, connecting a host of interesting villages and hamlets. Mary Townley wasn't joking when she called this Heartbreak Hill. I just take this chance to pause a while and catch your breath and admire this spectacular scenery. The view back over the village of Home Chapel and the Cliverger Gorge. What, what's the best way of eating a black pudding? Isn't With it? another one. <laughs> or oh. <laughs> The way I, I eat them is uh, straight up the boiler with mustard. Right. And you serve this on your market with a really hot mustard, don't you? Which we make ourselves, yeah. It's only for right. men. Proper yeah. men. Right, yeah. You could tell me now, Colin, what actually makes a Chadwick black pudding special? Well, it, it's a secret ingredient that I wasn't told until the day before Mary went into the hospital to have her child. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Right. Just pause a while and enjoy this view behind me. Immediately below us is Cout Village and Cout Mill, which until recently was one of the oldest mills in the valley, but now being transformed to houses and apartments. And then just let your eyes drift past Waterfoot, over to Pendle Hill, and then into the far distance, right up into the High Dales, Penny Ghent and Ingleborough. Take it all in, enjoy it, you deserve it. Large sections of the road were set in the 1860s during the cotton famine when the local councils put unemployed workers from the factories to work out here. It was a kind of early job creation scheme. In fact the road was known as the Cotton Famine Road and they must have been very well laid because haven't they lasted well? And did those feet in ancient times The climb back up the hill has the ample compensation of expanding views over Greater Manchester. Having climbed out the valley from Broadley, you just take some time to enjoy the view over the Whitworth Valley and the moors beyond. The trail that we've been on for the last mile or so, from Bottomley, that's fetched us round the corner of the hill here, is known as Salter's Rake Gate. It was used hundreds of years ago, even in Saxon times, to fetch salt into the valley from Cheshire. Interesting to see how these causes, lead to the name Causeway, have stood the test of time, worn smooth over hundreds of years by the hooves of rough-shod fell ponies. Continuing on our journey, we come face to face with the most significant landmark on the trail, Studley Pike. Standing at 110 feet tall, the stone obelisk was built entirely by public subscription. Erected first in 1814 to commemorate the end of the Napoleonic Wars, it was destroyed by lightning and rebuilt in 1856, at the end of the Crimean War. It's a bit of a slog up the hill, but there's your reward. You see, you can't shake off Studley Pike so easily, can you? This is Reap's Cross, which dates from the 1400s. It stood here for 600 years for travellers from Heppenstall to Cone. As this plaque says, it was re-erected in July 2002 by the people of this hillside. That's quite a feat. Now it stands, a magnificent waymark for travellers for all to see. Entering this section, you get a real taste of the wilderness, 
with the grand panorama opening before you. Soon we reach the long causeway, where we take a little detour left to get a closer look at Coldcliffe Wind Farm, which has had a somewhat controversial history. A clean, green, reliable source of energy or a, an inefficient scourge on the landscape, a blight on the environment. You tell me. Well, we can promise you a real taste of the wilderness on the trail and some breathtaking scenery. And certainly all your refreshment needs will be well catered for, as we promised you. Cheers. Cheers. Kick, Kick on. on.